Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another session of Drawing with Kids with Mrs. R. Today, we are going to draw a fun beach picture called Shells on the Beach. And I don't know about you guys, but it's one of my most favorite things to do is to look for shells on the beach. And sometimes when you're really lucky, you find a whole shell and not just broken ones. So today, we're going to use pencil. Sharpie and then some of the colors you see here um, with markers. So you're going to need a pencil with a good eraser, your black Sharpie, a purple, this looks like blue under the camera here, but it's actually a dark purple, a light purple, a bright pink, a nice color of blue, a green, kind of a bright green, and then an orange um, marker today, okay? So you can actually use any colors you want, but I'm gonna try and keep the, everything nice and bright. So let me go ahead and put those to the side. And we're going to draw some different types of shells today. So you're gonna start out by putting your picture, your paper landscape, or not landscape, excuse me, portrait, the long way up and down. All right, so we're gonna start by drawing our first shell, and we're gonna do it down here in the bottom corner down here in the down here in this space right here of our page okay so we're going to start out by drawing a shape like this it almost looks like a little bit of a smile and this is down in the corner of your page okay so kind of like that it looks like a smile and then from there what we're going to do is we're going to go up and around kind of like a rainbow and meet on the other side, if that makes sense. Okay, I've got a little bump there that I don't care for, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. I want it to look a little bit like the bow of a rainbow. So I'm gonna go in there and just fix a few of these spots like that. Okay, so after you've got this shape, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in and add like almost like two little feet down here at the bottom. Okay, so it looks like a little gumdrop with two little feet underneath. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna draw these lines that look like this. And I just go across like this. Oops, make that one a little bit longer. All right, now, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to add this shape to the top of our shell, just like this. And then we're gonna go in and erase this line. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in and erase this line that's going across. So just take your eraser and just go across like this and erase that line because we don't want that in our picture but we do want these straight lines so we might have to go you might have to go in and fix a few of your lines but that's fine. okay so then we've got the starting of our first shell so now we're going to go in and before i move on if you feel like you're getting behind just go ahead and press pause and get caught up or if you need to rewind a little bit to see the steps again then feel free to do so. So I'm making kind of a rounded line just like this going across each one of these and then right underneath it I'm going to do the same thing again drawing a line just like that. Okay so that is our first shell that we have in our collection of different kinds of shells that we're drawing. So now you can see this is in the bottom right corner, okay? So then in the top corner up here, so we're going up here now, we're going to draw a different kind of shell. So this one is shaped kind of like when we did our garden picture and we did some of the turnips, it kind of looks like that. Okay, so I'll get close up so you can see that shape. It also reminds me of, of the chickadees we did, but um, this one's standing up and down. 
All right, so after you draw this shape, kind of looks like a raindrop going the wrong direction, we're going to add a couple of steps to this. Okay, like that. So I did one, two, three. And then over here on the side, we're going to come out like this, like an ear, kind of like that. And then we're going to fall a little long back down like that. So it looks like an ear, doesn't it? And then on the shell, we're going to draw these lines that go down to the bottom. Oops, excuse me. Not to the bottom. We went a little bit too far. They go off to the sides like this. And this one goes off to the side like that. And then these kind of follow up like that. Okay, so that is our second shell drawing. Now we're going to go, let me show you where we're at now. We're going to go up to this top corner. Okay, so I'm going to um, get a little closer so that you can see that. Um, so we're going to start up here, home in here a little bit. We're going to start by drawing a little piece like this. Let me get it closer so you can see. So just a little shape like that, and then a little shape like that. Okay. And then even bigger like that. So, so far we've got one, two, three. And then we're going to do one more big one like that. So now we got one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're gonna draw a great big shape like this that comes up. Oops, excuse me. Wrong direction. Goes like this and like this. Now, after we've drawn this shape, we're, oops, let me add a little bit. This is a little bit, a little bit. I need to go up and over like that. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Sometimes we need to fine tune our pictures too when we draw. Okay, so then I'm going to draw the lines. The first set I'm going to do are like this, two here and two curving in like that. And then in the similar space, two curving in like that. And again, two curving in like that. And then they just kind of get bigger and bigger, two curving in like that. Okay. So that's a different shell. And then in our bottom left corner over here, kind of on the side here, we're gonna do our last one. So we're gonna start here and we're just going to curve around like that. Oops. Okay. Then you're going to make it go across like that. And then we're gonna draw these little shapes that kind of look like this. They're not really straight. They kind of are wavy a little bit. Just follow around like this. It's almost like little stripes, like little tiger stripes. Okay, and that is our last little shell. And then within our picture now, you can see we have four large shells, okay? We're gonna add some smaller ones. And so kind of watch how I do this. I'm gonna add a little one here, just a little circular one like this that goes like that. And then maybe one over here that curves like this and kind of has a shape like that that curves like that. And then maybe over here, maybe one that's a little like this, kind of comes around like that, and then goes like that, and then goes like that. Okay, so we have a nice selection 
of different types of shells. Maybe a little one up here again, just a little circular one like that. Okay, so you can see we've got just an assortment of different types of shells. Now, if you feel like you need to go back and see them again, the steps, or you feel like you need more time for drawing, then feel free to press pause at any time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my Sharpie lines. If you're ready to do start Sharpie lines as well, then you can join me. All right, so let's go ahead and um, go over all of our lines. So, so I'm just going over all of my pencil lines now. And just trying over all each one of these. Each one of these shells is going to be very different, which is cool because there's so many different kinds of shells. One of the places that my kids love to go is when we go to Long Beach, there is this one store that sells lots of different beach things, but they also have a wide assortment of seashells. And every time we go there, they always want to buy a special seashell. Which, I mean, gosh, when you go to the beach, that's kind of part of it, isn't it? It's kind of a special time and one of your little souvenirs you can get like a seashell to remember your trip by. Okay. And so I'm just going over each one of these shapes. And tracing over all my pencil lines. Once we do the hard work of the pencil lines, the other parts are pretty easy. Okay, so now I'm going to go over and erase all of my uh, pencil lines because I'm done with that because I've done all my Sharpie work. So I'm just going to go over it like this. Erase all those pencil lines. And just get them all erased. Just like that. Okay. So let me go ahead and Clean my picture off, clean my table off. Got a lot of eraser marks, need to get those all going. Okay, so now I have a nice clean place to do my work. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what colors I want for each of my shells. So I think I'm going to start up here in the top left corner and I'm going to use my marker to color in because I want them nice and bright just to color in my sections of my shells because they definitely have different colors. So I'm going to keep the lines white um, on the shell, and then I'm coloring just around the, the rest of the shell. 
fun thing about these smelly markers is they smell so good. So when I'm coloring, I get to smell this yummy marker. Okay, so there's my first one. Then I'm gonna go over to this shell here. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna color part of it, but I'm not gonna color the whole shell. I'm going to leave some of the lines white, which will be a nice contrast. Um, so let's see here. I'm just gonna color this part in. Like that. And then this part in. And, and okay, and then or in this one. And let's see here. Let's do let's go over here and color this one. Now the stripes I'm not going to color. I'm going to leave those white because they add a nice contrast to the picture. They really make the color of the purples stand out really nicely too. So the only thing you have to be careful with with the color markers is not to get on your hands because when you get it on your hands what can happen is um, you end up getting it on other things on the picture that you don't want ink on. So you have to be really careful and kind of pay attention to where you're laying down your ink and where you're putting your hands and resting your hands. Okay. So, there's that one. And then I'm going to do orange for this shell here. Okay, so then I'm just going to do underneath here and leave that white stripes in the center of this shell, just like that. Okay. Right, and then Let's color this one down here. We'll color this one a nice bright blue. And we'll leave the center of this one white. And then let's see here. Let's do, hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna color these ones. Maybe color this one. Let's see here. Maybe do a yellow for this one. And then maybe red for this one. That would be a good color. A little bit of everything here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use crayon now for the sand. So I'm gonna go in 
And I'm just gonna start, I need my scratch paper here. I'm gonna start coloring around with a yellow. Just put the sand in. Golden sand. We don't have that color, light color of sand at our, our beaches. Our sand is kind of gray, isn't it? On the coast in Oregon in Washington, but there's places that have really golden colored sands. They have um, black sand beaches in Hawaii and other places in the world. So it just depends on where you go. The sand looks very different. And you know that sand is just rock that has been ground up over time by the ocean, crushed and crushed smaller and smaller and smaller until it turns into sand. Because if you put a little tiny scoop of sand under a microscope, you'll see that all it is are just little tiny rocks that have been crushed and crushed and crushed until they were super small. And then uh, they end up being so soft, but what we, when you're walking on the sand, it feels so soft, doesn't it? Where all it is is just little tiny rocks that were once really big rocks, now are small rocks. And they're just so small that they feel very soft under our feet. Isn't that funny to think about rocks being feeling soft? They do. So someday when you're in science classes, if you ever get to look under things under a microscope and you look at sand, you will see that that sand, when you make it bigger so you can see what it looks like close up, it's actually just a bunch of little rocks that were once big rocks. Now our little tiny rocks, as they get pounded on by the ocean day and night, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And they just get smaller and smaller and smaller until they turn into these little tiny granular pieces of sand. Okay, just around the edges here. So I'm just going around. Be careful not to color in any of my white spaces on my or on the shells. Oops. I think I've got most of the sand colored in here now. Just give it a little spots, so make sure I've got everything. All right, so here is my finished product of my shells on the beach. And so I am excited to see how yours turned out. So please make sure to take a picture of it um, using Seesaw and post it on um, our class page and share it with Mrs. R because I would love to see it and love to see the colors that you guys decided on for your shelves. Just make sure you're using colors that are nice and bright and kind of pop off the page 
So until we meet again, my friends, I wish you all a great week. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye, everyone.